So when you start when you start to get states of peace, uh, when it's more new, then something can be very uncomfortable with that these states of peace being here, uh, and can judge it or be uncomfortable with it. I mean, of course, that which is uncomfortable with peace is the ego, yeah, and that which uh, will make things like, well, this is you're going, you're going, you're looking odd now because you're too peaceful, or it, peaceful is not good because you're having no drama in life, or now that you're peaceful, no one will like you. All these kinds of things can come up, and it's resolved through. I mean, obviously, the um, every time you go to a new higher state of spirituality, there's going to be resistance. You know, there's going to be something that doesn't want to firm up to that new level of consciousness, uh, and there will be something fighting to take you at least back to where you were before, and will not like it, and it will feel uncomfortable. Now you're too peaceful. I mean, and being slightly peaceful is okay, but now you're in peace so profoundly that the, this is wrong and you shouldn't be here and you should go back to how it used to be. Uh, that, you know, like Hawkins has written a book, Transcending the Levels of Consciousness. Each time you go to a higher level of consciousness, something will fight to take you back down again because you're at a new level of consciousness. So as you go higher and higher into higher levels of consciousness, some, it's almost like the level below fights to keep you down on that level and there are certain things you need to there are certain uh, dualities that you need to transcend before the new level becomes comfortable in your current state you know so I mean I think Hawkins wrote it quite eloquently like if you get to uh, the, the difference between love and unconditional love you know conditional love and unconditional love you know, like if you're if you're loving most of the time, but unloving certain types of individuals, uh, it feels in the beginning it feels uncomfortable to try and love those individuals, and you'd rather go back to just hating a few people and loving most people. Uh, so you go, yeah, and the ego goes, well, it was very uncomfortable trying to hold love with these types of people. So it fights in the beginning, and it feels quite. Uh, uh, what's the right? Not natural. The new state doesn't feel natural and feels, or it might be wrong. You get ideas that the new state is wrong, or it's too extreme. You should go back to your old state. So you've got to, you know, my experience is when you get to a new state, it is very uncomfortable and the ego fights that new state and would rather go back to the other state. And it's uncomfortable and you've got to stay in the discomfort of this new higher state being here. For a period of time, and you've got to resolve. You've got to resolve the duality that wants to pull you down. Says it's not good, or it's bad, or you, you lose all your friends, or uh, you're more safe in the lower state. To go back down there, uh, and you've got to go through that period of discomfort. But uh, I mean, like was said, you know, like you're in this state of peace, and then you suddenly go into your head, and it says it doesn't like it. So you, you see the way of resolving it. So you've got to release that thought or go to the observer of that thought and stay in the discomfort or be the observer of the discomfort. And it can take a period of time before it solidifies and then you get used to the new one and then you can let go to a more advanced one. So <clears throat> that's very, very common because we're used to being, you know, like in whatever state we're in, we're used to being in that state. So if you go up a level, it's going to be very uncomfortable and the ego will try and pull you down. So you, tra you transcend it. You can feel out the duality you can observe the duality until it passes, um, or you can just place it, you know, I place my discomfort of being in infinite peace into God's infinite light and love, I pray for miracles and transcendence, I place my discomfort of being in a state of absolute peace. Or if it's like a thing, like, uh, I place my fear that if I'm too peaceful, all my friends will leave me into God's infinite light and love. Or if I get too peaceful, um, I won't be able to earn any money whatever it is, you know, uh, or if I, if I get too peaceful, I, I, can't, I won't be spiritual. So you place those dualities, whatever they are, whether they're thoughts or whether they're more generic feelings or, or, uh, or states of discomfort, you know. If you get a state of, like, you can get states of discomfort 
but those can be felt out or observed as well. Um, 